Well, today's a very special Sunday. I'm going to read a verse here, and then we're going to engage with something that is quite unique for this house. So uh, Tim, Titus chapter 1, verse 7 says this, For an elder is God's steward and must be blameless. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered, addicted to wine or violence or greed or gain. But he must be hospitable, a lover of goodness, prudent, upright, devout, self-controlled. He must have a firm grasp of the word that is trustworthy in accordance with the teaching so that he may be able to both preach with sound doctrine and refute that which contradicts it. Uh, this morning we have a, a very special day to commemorate the installment and ordination of my dear friend, Sean Patterson, as a teaching pastor. Come on, Sean, come up here. And Amy, teaching pastor and elder. Give it up for Pastor Sean. I've invited a few elders here, fathers in the house. I want Mark and Bob to come forward. And Francis and Susie are here this morning. You think we're not going to come up? Come on up here. Along with Ken and Lydia and Fred Saxelby. And we're going to have them sit down here. This is not the whole service this morning. We will still share a message. But uh, again, look at this matching shoe combo. How jealous are you right now with these matching kicks? Um, I've known Sean now for 20 years and uh, I'm truly honored to have him as a friend. Uh, it was a true gift when I saw him accidentally show into a service one day several years ago. Little did we know we would be partners in ministry again as we met in Bible college. But again, we just want to affirm and attest the couple that you both are. And Sean, we recognize the gift on your life to teach and discern the word of God as a teacher in this house, as an elder and leader, and Amy as an influencer amongst our women, an amazing woman of God. You guys have raised a beautiful family and we are honored to have you a part of our team. And this house. So church, would you extend your hands towards them today? I'm going to have a few of the elders here and the uh, spiritual leaders pray. Pastor Bob, would you open us up? Father, this is a great day. This is a great couple. This is a good man. And we thank you for him, for his life. Lord, I was thinking Psalm 75, lift not up your horn on high and speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion comes neither for the north or the south, the east or the west, but it is I, the Lord God, that I set one up and I put down another. And so, Father, I thank you for my brother who has not sought promotion. He has sought to be faithful. He has sought to be a man of God, a man of the word, man of the ways of the kingdom. And so, Father, we bless him. We lay hands on him right now. We acknowledge the gift that is in him. We bless him. We pray for much fruit, fruit that would always remain in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for the abundance of grace on this family, on Sean and his household, Father. We pray that it would be exceeding and abundant, Father, as they uh, venture into this next season of their lives. And Father, we trust you with their hearts and minds and their influence in this house, God. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we just give you glory just for the seed that you planted in both of their hearts and their family, Lord, and how that seed has come to fruition. And that seed has grown and, and, and become a huge plant that just provides a source of uh, inspiration and growth to those that hear what he has to say, Lord. Yes. God, we thank you for the gift and the calling that you placed upon Sean, Lord the wonderful teaching gifts that's able to bring those nuggets of truth in, into life experiences, Lord, that just show how real your word is. And so we just bless them now in the name of the Lord Jesus, Lord. We commend a blessing upon them, God, that they would just continue in the fruitful harvest that you have planted them in, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. This week, I was looking over the scriptures <clears throat> for the requirements for an elder, and the Lord emphasized this one scripture. This is in Acts 20, verse 28. This is where Paul is speaking to the elders at Ephesus. This is before he's going to go to Jerusalem. Keep watch over yourselves and the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. And the part which was really emphasized was watch over yourselves. Mm -hmm. Quite often you think of people who are elders who are really busy and things don't go too well at home, et cetera, et cetera. And the emphasis, brother and sister, is 
Continue to do the things that you're doing right now. Continue to be in the word. Continue to spend time with fellowship with Jesus. Continue to be in prayer. Because as you become an official pastor and elder, things wrap up and things get busier, etc. So it's vital, it's vital that you keep watch over your own spiritual walk with the Lord Jesus. And I say that from many years of experience as an elder. Well, we love you guys. Susie and I love and esteem you have watched your lives. And today I was thinking of the word transcendent, um, to rise above or go beyond, to overpass, to exceed, to outdo in ex excellence and elevation, to extend above and beyond. And so that's who you guys are. You have been willing to go into um, brand new places and you've constantly had to fight headwinds that come against you, and you've been willing to transcend even people's view of you and, and just the simplistic uh, reality of this planet that places us in limited dimensions, and you've been able to transcend and excel and yeah. rise far above. And so the Lord has seen that in your lives, that you're willing to do that. And so you're going to help many people who think, there's no way I can or uh, I'm not able to fulfill even the desire of my heart. And today is a fullness of time moment where you are being acknowledged and affirmed uh, that the invisible things you've done, the hidden things you've done, and the decisions you've made that cost you a lot uh, have been ultimately stepping stones to greater stewardship and responsibility in the kingdom of God. So we honor you today. We thank you for this amazing couple, Lord. They are, um, we're humbled really being around them, Lord, because we know that they have um, been willing to uh, say yes over and over again. Thank you for their children, their marriage, so many dimensions that affirm who they are as a godly, humble uh, man and woman. And so use them mightily in this house, God, and bring many people to know you and disciple them. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Father, we just declare a new authority over this couple in Jesus' name. They would walk in authority and power. They would see strongholds torn down and broken in Jesus' name. That today would mark the day of difference. That Sean would teach and preach the word that it would go beyond this house in Jesus' name. That we would see the racial divide reconciled in our nation through a leader and a couple like this in Jesus' name. And we say what God has brought together, let no man or spirit separate. This is a team of strength. We rebuke the attack of the enemy against this family. And we say no more. But God, you've established them as leaders in this house and leaders in this city. Protection and grace. Visit them with dreams and visions. We declare breakthrough in their generational family line in Jesus' name. A new generational line has started through the blood of Jesus. And though they have not physical sons, God, we thank you for the many spiritual sons this couple will raise up. Future elders. Multi-nations and generations, God, that this house would be blessed. We declare your provision, your grace, as they are faithful stewards. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. amen. Give it up for Sean and Amy Patterson. Thank you so much.